iPhone 12 Pro full spec exciting times no week season has begun when you just can't keep up with the torrent of leaks coming out in the last video we've learned with the iPhone 12 Pro chassis would look like in this video we now have an accurate depiction of the notch how big it will be the orientation of the sensors inside and the bezel on the screen was just say things are looking good and will look even better in map black one day let's start with John Prosser's exclusive look at the notch so in today's front page tech episode John Prosser has has given us an exclusive look at the front of the iPhone 12 with these leaked schematics they look legit in fact even the way the call outs the information is displayed looks very Apple like high tech we now have an accurate depiction of the notch the sensor layout inside and the bezels it looks amazing in our concept we were a little eager on the bezels so those will not be quite as thin but still super sweet we were about 3 millimeters off your slapper will be shrinking the bezels, by about 0.52.6 mm on first appearance it looks a little underwhelming not quite what you'd expect after 3 years of development in fact none of the sensors seemingly even shrunk and she quote earlier predicting that Apple would be shrinking the camera unit in order to make a SATI more compact but seemingly all they've done here is move the earpiece upwards and combine it with a microphone still it's okay it is an improvement it's smaller more compact but it's not any shorter it's just as tall just not as wide I had a question earlier today isn't this something Apple could have done within the last three years or even since the beginning with the iPhone 10 technically true but in our next exclusives video with Max Weinreich you learned that base ID is improving in more ways than just size and it's possible that some of the components have been improved in ways that you cannot explain just by looking at physical sensors thinking a concept creator for helping us model that sensor work is legendary so back in December 2019 Mac the Kara shared this video hands on with the iPhone 12 Pro prototypes apparently these CADs were almost identical to the ones I share with you just a few days ago or be one of the 6.7 inch that one had a smaller smart connector but pretty much the same CADs here I mention this because Prosser says the smart connector is seen in these CADs will not be happening on this year's iPhone his sources do not see them on current prototypes that may be because Apple is pushing it back to the release of the 2021 iPhone because that iPhone is rumored to not have a port coincidentally these things would be released at the same time because it would solve the problem for a school as a truly wireless iPhone sounds in 2021 how are you going to charge it while holding no we're not getting wireless charging over the air or anything ridiculous like that no the batteries are not getting good enough to warrant that Apple is likely to use the smart connector seen in the prototypes for wireless charging using a little dongle possibly a version that's similar to the Apple Pencil how it magnetically snaps on you be able to continue using the iPhone while charging without having to have it on a map problem solved Prosser also mentions that that smart connector no it is not getting used for a mini Apple Pencil completely out of the question no and if Apple were to use a solution like this it answers the question on whether or not they would include a wireless charger in the box with future iPhones with something like this would be cheaper there would be no need so sadly that smart connector wouldn't be getting used this year but Apple is working on two separate wireless chargers according to fudge one being air power to C68 prototypes and one being a small wireless charger C26 that's one we heard about earlier from you and she quote a few months back yes it is happening we don't know if it's slated for release this year or the next member air power was cancelled so Apple is likely not rushing this project a couple more details about air power from Prosser the prototype being tested by engineers at home had the lightning cable on the right side and the Apple 11 chip inside has two cores disabled so it's slightly nerf air power still has a fully fledged processor inside and stating the obvious Prosser mentions no we will never see you as BC iPhone Apple is leveling up to a wireless future in 2021 and beyond which is why air power and the smart connector are such a big deal on the iPhone regarding the iPhone say plus so the 5.5 inch version the replacement to the iPhone A plus it's still happening but delayed to March 2021 when it does arrive it'll come with an Apple A13 so the same internals as the current iPhone say moving on to iPhone 12 weeks first off wanted to reiterate we still don't know what's happening with the lenses there are many potential dates that Apple can go for Wineback mentioned that Apple was testing the latter R on the right side bottom and on 
the top so we added those. In there don't know how the glass will look surrounding the lenses would be cleared like on the 11 Pro or will it be black to better blend in with the lighter sensor curious I think personally that I really like the look with the lighter sensor having a ring which it should for aesthetic reasons the fact that the lenses don't protrude as much at the lenses bigger is that this very impressive look and in map black just so much better that needs to happen by the way when you guys think of her gen 2 case I personally think it'll be the best combination of protection yet sleek looks letting you enjoy the cold steel of your iPhone that everyone should be able to feel let me know what improvements you like to see that there's been a huge report by Mark Gurman detailing the iPhone 12 lineup in a number of other products coming this year let's start with air tanks so he describes the design as puck shaped a puck shape would nicely house the CR 2032 battery nestled inside and by the way these will be wirelessly rechargeable they do have a very compact system in package chip inside the music and have quite the capability and german mentions these will have an apple design leather sleeve so you can click them on to things i assume there will be a sticky version and german mentions apple is working on a slew of new products including macbook pro refresh apple tv budget ipads and new imax german did also report on the 2020 iphone lineup saying they will be 5g capable there will be at least two Two models with flat size which of course would be to pro models if the non-pro models were to be rounded he says the design is reminiscent of the iPhone 5 the glass is now to the glass so completely smooth as we predicted and our CAD week confirms that the pro models will have three lenses in a lighter sensor than on pro models will keep their current camera setups at least some of the iPhones will be delayed which we've heard will be the iPhone 12 Pro Max the 6.7 inch launching later in October next to delays he says the design still has not been finalized so we still may see some changes in future CADs as Prosser earlier warned today German also confirms the 6.7 inch will have a larger display than the current 11 Pro Max that Apple is working on a version without a notch altogether and this year's lineup is likely to support the smaller notch which today has been revealed by Prosser also mentions that the Apple 814 will be more dedicated towards artificial intelligence and augmented reality tasks that there will be a portion of the Apple 14 specifically dedicated to these tasks and German mentions the iPhone 12 is currently being designed engineers homes as are not able to congregate or travel to China to finish prototyping also emphasizes that plans may yet change due to the nature of the outbreak in other news Barclays believes Apple will be launching the 5G iPhone in two waves one in 2020 with some 6 gigahertz capable 5G then in 2021 millimeters wave capable 5G which is the faster version of 5G it seems unrealistic for Apple to fragment their lineup like that this is because of their in-house antenna solution which they had to design after being unhappy with Qualcomm's version the chassis we saw had much wider antenna bands 1.88 mm versus the standard one I highly doubt it'll happen but apparently is a possibility also more German reports that Apple is working on the smaller version of the home pod about half the size of the current home pod while keeping its existing design will also be cheaper which will be its main selling point back I reported on this a number of months ago and now it's been corroborated by Mark German German also mentions that the new home pods will have marked Siri improvements and music streaming improvements so I'm sure a number of other options you can stream from this is convenient timing is 95 Mac has just published a report saying starting at 13.4 the home pot is now running a version of TV OS and there are a number of reasons why they're doing this basically the home pot is more similar to the Apple TV than it is to an iPhone so for power management for future product releases and likely because there will be a hardware release Apple is updated it to the TV OS side of software 95 Mac also mentions the upcoming Apple TV TV will be sporting an Apple of 14 my gosh the bird is back I got readily cut rethinking HomePod and hopefully it will make a comeback because as it is right now misunderstood product it doesn't really have a good reason to exist when comparing it to the competitors Siri is still broken on it it's okay for music but I think Apple could do so much better also another nugget about khaki nothing really important but it's a feature of quite excited about shortly after.
learning that it might one day be coming to Tesla here relatively soon Steve Moser shared that in 13.4.5 beta 2 I was will now forcibly sign you out of all of your car keys when signing out of iCloud much like it dumps all of the cards from wallet when doing the same thing I guys that's the latest stay tuned for our exclusive leaks with Max Wine back part 3 let me know your comment on below section and please subscribe one love thanks for watching see you on my next video.